Hi, I'm Jason Pancoast, Engineering Manager at CapBank, and I recently got to take a close look at what's coming in the new release of SolidWorks 2015. For the best introduction to the new functionality, you'll really want to come to our launch event on October 17th. But until then, I'll try to share what I can. In the past, you may have noticed that as SolidWorks caches more data to improve performance, file size increases. While well, SOLIDWORKS 2015 includes technology to automatically reduce your file size up to 2x. You don't have to do anything to turn it on. Just open your file and save it in the new release. Some of the best enhancements are with patterns. There's a brand new type of pattern called a variable pattern. This will let you do anything you want to in terms of making copies. When you choose a feature to patterns, you put your dimensions into a table and you use the table of instances to control how to make each one different. Another enhancement that industrial designers will especially appreciate is what they've done for style splines. SolidWorks introduced style splines last year, which let you draw splines using a polygon instead of the old-fashioned way, which was often hard to control. But you had to choose whether to sketch a spline the old way or the new way. Now, in SOLIDWORKS 2015, you can convert back and forth from an old-fashioned spline into a style spline at any time. I mentioned small improvements as well. You probably have a list of things you would like to see them do. Let's see if SOLIDWORKS 2015 lets you check off anything on your list. Want to be able to draw a line from its midpoint? Check it off. And if you need to make a rectangle, with midpoint center lines, but you've been doing it manually for years, now SOLIDWORKS 2015 can do it for you. Check it off. Ever tried to add relationships by clicking on the point between two entities? Check it off. So if you want to see any of this new functionality, be sure to come to our launch event October 17th.